Noam Chomsky's Who Rules the World? Unveiling Global Power Dynamics. Noam Chomsky's Who Rules the World? stands as a seminal critique of global power structures and their impact on international affairs. Published in 2016, this provocative work offers a penetrating analysis of the forces that shape our world, from state power and corporate influence to media manipulation and the erosion of democracy. In this comprehensive exploration, we'll delve into Chomsky's incisive insights, examining key themes and providing examples to elucidate his arguments. Decoding Global Power Structures Chomsky's examination of global power begins with an analysis of the interconnected web of influence that spans states, corporations, and other non-state actors. He argues that traditional notions of state sovereignty are increasingly challenged by transnational corporations, financial institutions, and other powerful entities. For example, multinational corporations wield immense economic power, often influencing government policies and international trade agreements to further their own interests. Furthermore, Chomsky highlights the role of supranational organizations such as the International Monetary Fund (IMF) and the World Bank in shaping global economic policies. These institutions, dominated by Western powers, often impose neoliberal economic policies on developing countries, exacerbating inequality and perpetuating dependency. The Legacy of Imperialism Central to Chomsky's analysis is the enduring legacy of imperialism and its impact on global politics. He traces the historical roots of imperialism from European colonialism to contemporary forms of interventionism. For instance, Chomsky examines the United States' interventions in Latin America, the Middle East and Southeast Asia, arguing that imperial ambitions continue to drive geopolitical strategies and military interventions. Chomsky also critiques the notion of humanitarian intervention, arguing that it is often used as a pretext for military aggression and regime change. He points to examples such as the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003, which was justified under the guise of promoting democracy and combating weapons of mass destruction. Geopolitics and Strategic Interests Chomsky offers insights into the complex dynamics of geopolitics and the strategic interests that shape international relations. He examines key geopolitical flashpoints, such as the Middle East and East Asia, where competing powers vie for influence and control over vital resources. For example, Chomsky analyzes the rivalry between the United States and China in the Asia-Pacific region, highlighting the strategic importance of maritime trade routes and territorial disputes. Moreover, Chomsky explores the role of military alliances such as NATO in advancing geopolitical agendas and projecting power on the world stage. He argues that these alliances serve to maintain the dominance of Western powers and uphold the status quo of global power dynamics. Corporate Influence and Media Manipulation Chomsky exposes the pervasive influence of corporations and the media in shaping public opinion and policy decisions. He argues that corporate interests often dictate government priorities, leading to policies that prioritize profit over the welfare of ordinary citizens. For example, Chomsky highlights the role of the fossil fuel industry in shaping climate change policies, despite overwhelming scientific evidence of its detrimental impact on the environment. Furthermore, Chomsky critiques the role of the media in perpetuating narratives that serve the interests of the powerful elite. He argues that mainstream media outlets are often controlled by corporate conglomerates, leading to biased reporting and the suppression of alternative viewpoints. Chomsky's concept of the propaganda model highlights how media outlets serve as mouthpieces for state and corporate interests, shaping public perception and reinforcing existing power structures. The Erosion of Democracy In the final chapters, Chomsky warns of the erosion of democracy and the concentration of power in the hands of a privileged few. He critiques the rise of authoritarianism, the suppression of dissent, and the erosion of civil liberties in the name of national security. For example, Chomsky points to the expansion of surveillance powers and the erosion of privacy rights in the aftermath of the 911 attacks. Moreover, Chomsky highlights the role of money in politics and the influence of special interest groups in shaping public policy. 
he argues that the increasing concentration of wealth and power in the hands of a wealthy elite undermines the foundations of democracy as elected officials prioritize the interests of their wealthy donors over the needs of ordinary citizens. Conclusion Noam Chomsky's Who Rules the World offers a sobering critique of global power dynamics and the forces that shape our world. Through a combination of historical analysis, geopolitical insight, and media critique, Chomsky unveils the hidden mechanisms of power and calls for a more just and equitable world order. Let us heed Chomsky's warnings and work towards a future where power is wielded responsibly and democracy is upheld as a sacred trust.